Welcome everyone to another episode of Argentina. So guys, as you guys can see, there's some major warring going on in Europe. Let's see, wait, wait, what's happening? French, French war of Pinamont freedom. Oh wow. So basically, Pinamont called France in most likely to go fight against Argentina so it can reclaim all of its cores. And France is kicking butt right now against both Austria, Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. Wow. Okay, over here it doesn't seem like there's much going on with the Qing. Probably the probably the Heavenly Kingdom failed. Well, actually the Heavenly Kingdom's coming up right now. Yeah, they haven't formed any. They, there's no Heavenly Kingdom yet, so that, that event should be happening for them very soon. Also, apparently the British took this little land over here of China. Who took Hong Kong? The British. Okay. The British are kind of being evil right now. They're being really, really, really aggressive. Okay, and finally, I'm going to push for secret ballots. The last little thing I needed. And let's see, how's our bureaucrats doing? Good. So now what I'm going to do is basically in my, um, in some of my, I, some of my countries that will probably need, let's see, where will I need some, like, good old-fashioned work? Most of these places, La Pampa could use some... Basically what I'm going to need is I'm going to need some immigration to come into my places. Seems like this place actually grew a lot, so I'm going to actually decrease it. And yeah, that's basically what I'm thinking is I'm going to need some immigration. Wow, there's a lot of people in that place. Basically, whatever factory is put there, it's going to grow really quickly. Like, really quickly. Oh my goodness, lots of bronze factories. I don't want to quite build them because bronze factories are about to become outdated. Alright, we got more shares, prestige. All this kind of good stuff is happening to us. Our people are really getting taxed. 68% of their population is getting less taxed. Which is really quite nice because I'm not really taxing them too, too much. Which is good because I have a good history of taxing my people a good insane amount. Okay. Let's see. With In terms of railroads, we have good industri industrial capability. Which is good. Um, let's start, like, let's build up our fort levels. Just, like, a couple of our forts. Like, seriously, I mean, if we have the money, I mean, why not? Like, just a couple, just a couple regions, like, one couple of our crucial regions that we're going to be defending in the future. Like, these two regions are very crucial to us because that's our capital and that's, you know, defensible. And this region's very crucial because that's probably going to be the main fighting point between us and Brazil. Brazil's very angry at us for what we did. I guarantee they are like, oh my goodness, why'd you do that? Um, and it seems like the world is really rapidly changing because it seems like I keep going from eight to nine in a second. So I'm going to figure out what the problem is for why I haven't moved up to being a great power yet. 177, 206. That's the problem right there. Because my industrialization is not as good as the other countries and so that's kind of holding me back. Oh my goodness, that kind of stinks. In terms of a reason to like not get good industrialization, that's probably the most annoying right there because it's like, uh, we should be doing, okay, you guys are doing really well. You guys are doing really well right now in terms of fabric. Fabric's really doing well right now. Okay, let's see. Do we have enough support anymore? You guys can actually go to another level. Uh, you guys can also stop getting stipends from me too. Yeah, you guys can stop getting stipends. Let's see, you guys could possibly, you guys are already getting an extra level. You guys are getting some more people trying to immigrate to you. Let's see. And let's see, we have, oh my goodness, my I I Irish population always gone. No. They were so, the Irish were so good, such good people. Guess they went back to Ireland. <laughs> uh, who, we are just kind of casually, I guess, indirectly friends with because we kind of do support island independence from the massive conglomerate of Great Britain but we also kind of support our own independence to at the same time so it's kind of both double-edged swords okay let's get the last okay and we're just going to allow non-socialism uh, to form and we almost have enough stuff to actually go start doing more attacks on people which is good because apparently I'm going to need some more attacks on people, which is annoying to admit, but apparently I am. 
because that's just how this all works. World Trade Fair begins, yay! So, I think I got the perfect strategies. I'm gonna call Bolivia in, and then I'm gonna call Chile in. Well, Bolivia's gonna call Chile in, but then Chile could call everyone else in, which could, hmm, that could actually turn out really bad for me. All right. All right, there we go. And now with that last reform, I've officially become the most free country in the world. No one should ever doubt my freedom at all. Yeah. Okay. And on a side note, let's start decreasing our economy by a little bit. I think we can push for 65. 65? Yes, we can push for 65. 65% of my people are now paying that much. That means there's a significant difference between us and the start of the game, how much we're paying. An extra 10%, that means our people can actually start buying all the products we're making. Damnation, we just had a prestige loss because of stupidity reasons. Uh, explosive factories. Uh, let us listen to their grievances. I'll listen to their grievances because that's what you should do. Um, Alright, I guess by the six, I don't know how we're, we're two people, let's just start supporting more factories. Ammunition factory, yes. Get more ammunition factories. Ammunition factories, yes. I support any type of building of militaristic weapons, because militaristic weapons help us out in the future. And that just like expanded our production of almost a lot of different people. We now have all these different like places now on the map, which is gonna like increase our immigration by a lot, because that means we have a lot of open factories again, which means a lot of places are gonna be like, oh my goodness, there's, uh, Argentina's the place to go because it has factories that we need to go to and lots of jobs to fill, which is good. Okay. And now since I think it's time, so, Oh, wait, you guys are allied with Peru. Oops. That's the wrong person I wanted to declare war on. Okay, so, but I wanted to declare war on Chile so badly. Uh, but then it could call Brazil, and Brazil's a massive conglomerate. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, we gotta think of this quite clearly. Do we want to take over Chile? Yes. Do we want to take some land from Chile? Yes. If I were to just call in Chile, I'm pretty sure they would just get their major big alliance buddies to come in and help them. Ooh. We could also, at the same time, well, that be going in Chile, Colombia, and Ecuador. No. I was about to say, we could just attack Brazil directly, but then that's even a worse idea. So, what I'm going to do is, I believe I'm going to increase the relationship with these guys. We got a lot of good relationship for years on. And the Kniv Canal is built, and we're just like, okay. So, and we're going to attack Colombia. Basically, take what we want. Grand ex excavation! Yay! Now that we got money, we can start doing those fancy dancy things. Okay, but we're going to increase our relationship with them. I think you have to be at 50 before you can start fabricating claims. And once we do that, then we can, yeah, do stuff, do lots of stuff, like, because I want to, I want to make sure I'm touching Peru in the future, because I do want to start expanding outward into that direction. And I don't want to kind of wait, I do want to conquer Bolivia at some point, but I don't want to do it now. <laughs> and right now is not the best time to conquer Bolivia. Well, it is the best time to conquer Bolivia, but it will take me a little bit longer, so... Let's get that down to 50% so now they kind of hate me. And we're getting emancip imperialism. Imperialism. And let's see. We need nationalism and imperialism. Yay! And if we can get this, this would be really nice. Okay, we're at 8% again. What is happening? Okay, we're 8 right now. Who's the lowest before us? 201, but that is mostly because they're cheating. Alright, so we basically... We, okay, get that 12% more. Give us even a bigger boost. There we go. We, yes! We got 7th. Okay, can we finally be acknowledged as a great power? Oh my goodness, that'd be so nice if we could be acknowledged as a great power now. Because then, if I do this correctly, then we could have a lot of different land come and be ours. Hmm. Hmm, you know, I might, if, if things pertain to this, I should actually hold off on... 
conquering Chile. And the reason why is because, like, with all these, like, um, the glory of Argentina, yay! Um, if I hold up, I could become a great power with, you know, this next, you know, this next move, guys. Once I become a great power with this, um, natural imperialism gets born, and then what I could do after that is gain the Unite La Plata event. Make La Plata, which means I gain cores on everything, you know, is good. That means that I inherit Ungi right over here. Well, not, not Ungi. This Ungi, sorry. This Ungi! <laughs> I was messing it up there. Which means then I also get cores on all this region too. Which then, if I was go to war with Chile, I'd be able to expand right here and right here, gain two regions, be able to split up, and I have a massive new gigantic nation. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold off my conquest just for a little bit, just to get that going. Unless we have that happen. But luckily, the only person that wanted to join uh, Brazil in this war is, is them. So... Let's go deal with the mighty Brazilian army because they have been making me mad all game. But that is also a good indicator that I should probably start building up my army again. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. The ten troops right there. Let's go destroy that 6k. We're already support. Luckily, we're already supporting our men fully, so we don't have to really care about this. Um, and since we're going to war against Brazil individually, I'm how how sure I am I'm going to win this is very dependent on a lot of things. Let's actually split our army up because I don't want to be suffering attrition, attrition here yet. But we could most likely win this war and with that we can most likely claim even more Brazilian land and I'd love to take this region right next to us like you guys know I want to take this region Saint, Saint Paulo just take all of this region right here give us a massive boost to our prestige economy and everything great great stuff even though Brazil does not have an economy all right all right you guys be very careful around here this is a really bad supply limit area. Okay. And we want to make sure we don't die from it. Okay. And let's see. How is Peru doing? Please tell me Peru is not dying. Peru is at war with Bolivia. Or they are helping out Bolivia unsiege itself. Gosh dang it. That's definitely not what we need you guys to do. Oh my goodness. Well, anyways, you guys move over here to kind of defend. Okay, what I'm hoping is that these guys will get way too overconfident in their abilities to, to attack me. Defense, let's see, we have jungle. No, second day desert. Jungle would be right here. We need to move into jungle. Where's jungle? Jungle, 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 jungle. I guess this is the only jungle province we have right near us. Okay, if we move into jungle right here. What I'm hoping is that they'll go attack that army, but what we'll do is since I have a massive defensive bonus and because I have a defensive general, we'll be able to defend against it. This guy's actually really good. You know, we should actually plan on attacking people. Just like, hey, hey, don't do that. Don't move away. Okay, we'll move, we'll, we won't attack you. Okay. All right. Let's see. Are they going to move in to try to attack us? That's kind of what we need to know. We need to kind of plan for the future. No, we no, no. All you guys, scoop up right here. Yes, and we have a lot more conscripted troops because we have a lot more people in our country. Oh, we have 1.89. Do we surpass Brazil yet? No. We have not surpassed Brazil yet. Kind of makes me mad still. Okay. Brazil is definitely going after us at a clear collision course. Send our army right there. They're probably going to stop. Yeah, now they're gonna siege down everything quick. Um, that means they're basically looking for a fight. If we hold it right here, I believe these two provinces right here would be really. If we're looking for provinces to hold, those two would be way better. Let's see, we'd be able to get out in time. Tenth, seventh, no. 
Hold him for like three days. Wait, wait. Wait, they're still gonna attack. Hmm. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry people. If I'm not being very entertaining right now, this is really, really tense because this could decide. This is one of those battles I had to, I had to wait for them to engage before I could actually do stuff. But I have enough troops. As long as my people don't die immediately, we should be able to use a lot of meat shields. There we go. There we go. Go, go. Everyone charge. 51k in the jungle. No, yes, it's not jungle. Okay, charge him in right now. What are you guys fighting for, anyways? Again. Okay, Parma, exactly the same region as last time. You guys go right there. Okay, all my conscripted men just go right there. Okay, let's see. We're attacking with all of our men, all of our might at Castro. Trying to make sure we destroy these guys. Yes, 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 yes. Jacobson's arm! you guys even want don't tell me you guys are literally that mad at me for not passing this I guess I can't I guess I can't even choose my party anyway so yep two per state guys get away from me you guys are causing me difficulties oh my goodness seriously I give them freedom and then they just backstab me okay like, seriously that's one thing about this game I think they really should change is the fact that when you give freedom to this many nations, they should be like, Yeah, you got you, your nation's so great and so progressive in your era. They shouldn't be like, No, we hate you and you should die forever. But no, this game isn't like that. It definitely likes to punish you if you try to be a good and, you know, happy nation. It definitely likes to punish you. It definitely doesn't like you being, you know, anything less. Balance? Okay. Send half the troops over there. Send half the troops over here. We're going to try to kill. We're going to try to make sure that none of these armies go next to. Yeah, no. You don't get to retreat. Yeah. You don't get to retreat. We're going to destroy you guys. Very, very slowly. I mean, as long as I make sure that these guys do not win. The region. The war score. Doesn't even matter about what happens else. What else happens. And there we go. Crush those guys. They're going to move in another army right there, which is exactly what we need. You guys go right there. I think we're going to be able, yeah, we're going to be able to get there before they can... Nope. Okay. Going to wait for that army to arrive, which is going to arrive at 29th. Okay, you guys actually go on rebel suppression. Oh, look, all the rebels are now gone now that I got two per state. Great. Good job, guys. You had to, you had to make me go the 29th. 26, 27, 28, 29. Go! Come on. Kill them. Kill them. I'm trying to fight these. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do then is just go right here. And you guys. No. You guys. No. You guys. Go right there. So that we can get these guys in time. Let's see. Do we have any other troops that could fight those other. 6k. There were 24k moving up from the bottom. These guys are getting sieged up. I really don't care because they're kind of useless. <laughs> mm. Let's see them moving. Sign the Geneva Convention. Nah. <laughs> it's usually a good idea to sign Geneva Convention, but since I'm a small power, that's going to be one of my advantages over the bigger powers. Is the fact that I have a better, like, economy than them. So, yeah. Or better troops than them. Or better just, you know, that slight tad bit of morale. That will be able to make a difference in the game. Okay. So we have a 22 death stack right over there. That's not good. Let's see if this 6k can go kill that. Oh, wait. These are just engineers. These are not going to be good for killing. Okay. And let's see. There's 11k right over there. 12k right over there. I don't want that 11k and 12k to group up, so I'm probably going to have to go kill them. Okay, and let's see. 
off. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the future.